What value do you provide? Most people focus on the money. Why? Well, we're going to ask them for some money. Let's focus on the money that we're going to give them back, right? That would be a mistake. That would be a mistake. Let me tell you why. There are no less than three separate buckets driving energy efficiency decision making. Unfortunately, most of the professionals of this industry, perhaps many of the people in this room, focus only on bucket number one. What's bucket number one? Utility cost financial benefits. Anybody worth his salt in this business can calculate with using the proper utility tariff, what is the economic benefit when expressed as rebates, dollars and cent, you know, incentives and rebates, and of course the utility cost savings per month. That's fine. It sounds like a big bucket, especially in a high cost area like Hawaii where it just came from, where utility prices have been between 30 and 45 cents a kilowatt hour depending on which island you're on recently. Bottom line though is, what about Salt Lake City? You know, four cents, six cents? You know, what about other places in the country where you don't have that tailwind of 40 cents a kilowatt hour to fuel your value propositions? Okay, second bucket. Non-utility cost financial benefits. These are things that are calibrated by quantifying and monetizing financial benefits to, that show up somewhere else on the profit and loss statement. It doesn't show up on the utility line item. It's my studied observation, having been in this business for two decades, that that second bucket is at least 10 times as large as bucket number one if you take the time to quantify and monetize them. And of course, that preconditions or presupposes that you actually know which ones to quantify and monetize because you have a segment-specific understanding of how your benefits map into their benefits, benefits they care about. More on that later. Number three, non-financial benefits, things like getting an Energy Star label or lead certification. Sounds like a nice to have, but guess what? Some of those non-energy benefit, non-financial benefits actually leak back into bucket number two. And I'll show you a slide later that so, shows that in no less than six uh, studies over the last half dozen years, there is a statistically significant relationship between a building that has an Energy Star label on it and higher rent per square foot, higher occupancy, and higher appraised value per square foot. Now, in my former career, we had a $200 million portfolio of shopping centers in Southern California. And that sounds a lot like a non-utility cost financial benefit to me. So essentially what I'm trying to say here in the brief time that I have with you this morning is that if you take a look at all three buckets, the first one, the one that you focus on the most, is actually the smallest bucket. The second one is the one that's going to resonate most with your customers because you're giving them benefits that can be measured with the yardsticks they're already using to measure their own success. And the third bucket, if properly couched, actually leaks benefits back into the second bucket.